50 million years ago, a hungry land animal seeks a new source of food. This sets him on a spectacular evolutionary journey and on a collision course with rivals. Today, this creature looks like a fish, but it retains key traits from its terrestrial past. It's warm-blooded, a mammal, and it breathes air through its lungs. How did a creature built for land become master of the oceans? Asia, Pakistan, the Suleiman mountain range. This rocky terrain was once the bed of the ancient Tethys Sea. Locked away in this rock are secrets of ancient marine life and death. In 1978, a team of fossil hunters from Michigan set to work. Paleontologists are time travelers. They visit the ancient past by digging into the earth. Each layer of rock is like a time capsule, recording major events in the planet's history. Asteroids. Natural disasters. Climate change. It's all recorded in layers of rock, planet Earth's DNA. A team member cracks open a rock. Inside is a fossil, unlike anything they've seen before. This fossil sets one man on a voyage of discovery. The expedition leader was Philip Gingrich. In the University of Michigan vaults, he examines his amazing find. It's the partial skull of a mammal that lived 50 million years ago. In 1978, Gingrich couldn't work out which family of animals it belonged to. When we found it, when we cleaned it, I really wasn't sure what it is. I was a specialist of land mammals. And it didn't look like anything I knew. Gingrich commissioned experts in mammal anatomy to reconstruct its skull. It gives you an idea of what the whole skull might have looked like. This is real and this is reconstructed, but it's reconstructed following the plan of a typical mammal. Later digs uncover more crucial pieces of the skeletal jigsaw.
Finally, this enigmatic animal comes to life. I think it would have four limbs. I expect probably it had short hair. And they still have hooves. If we think it's a land animal, we'd expect it to look wolf-like. But Gingrich still couldn't identify which order of animals it belongs to. Then he spots a tiny, S-shaped bone in the ear region. He finds out that this bone is known as a sigmoid process. And it's unique to one order of animals that today lives in the water. Gingrich finally realized what this creature is. It's something primitive, it's something transitional, but nonetheless, with a sigmoid process, a primitive whale. This can only mean one thing. The modern whale began life as a land animal. To find out how a land animal evolved into the modern whale, we must return to ancient Pakistan. This is the ground the creature walked on 50 million years ago. The world then is a hotter place. In the region that is now Pakistan, higher temperatures likely created an arid environment. The whale's ancient ancestor, named Pachycetus, faces a survival crisis. It's the shape, size, and weight of a modern wolf. And lives on a diet of plants and small animals. But climate change is wiping out his food supplies. He needs to find a new food source, and quickly. The ancient whale takes its first tentative steps into water. It's an extraordinary gamble. What rewards did the waters hold for Pachycetus? The answer lies in the earth itself. 